Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your FPS in No Man's Sky. A lot of people is asking me uh, how they can improve um, the stability of their FPS and to have more FPS in this game. We will start with the uh, the game itself, all the settings that you can change. But after that, really important at the end of the video, uh, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go do. I'm going to go in the config file, and we can change a lot of stuff that will impact a lot your FPS, and it's not in the config setting. So first of all, if you don't have an INPC, don't play this game in full HD. Honestly, you should try something like this. Uh, Sorry, like this, uh, 720p, uh, you will see a big difference, honestly, e e even me, when I launched the game the first time, at default, I have a 1070 with my video card and, uh, and a good i7 processor, and I had, like, some struggle to run my 60 FPS, so maybe you should test another resolution in this game. After that, after that, make sure that your VSync is off, you want to unlock your FPS, uh, anti-aliasing, if you have something, a GTX 970 and something more, uh, you can use the TAA in this game. Uh, if you don't have that, please use FXAA. You will see a nice increase over there. You can also remove your anti-aliasing, but honestly, your image quality will decrease a lot. So uh, just test it over here. Okay. Uh, after that, uh, motion blur, remove this. Uh, I don't like the effect, but maybe you should use it. Because it's ca it kind of smooths your game. Uh, the, uh, the, your drop FPS and the lag is... Uh, less present when you use those kind of effect but honestly i think it sucks so yeah uh until occlusion please remove this you will gain two fps depending on your video card texture quality you need something with four gig and more if you want to play at i uh i did two tests one on my um amd car and one on my uh, nvidia car and i didn't have any issue with uh the i both have 8 gig so uh, honestly no, no problem over there if you have something like 1060 with 3 gig go with medium and put 4 here uh, you can also put 8 if you have an high-end card no problem here I didn't see any uh, issue uh, shadow detail and reflection quality make sure that you're using low uh, for each bracket you will gain 3 to 4 fps so both are very important light shaft remove this and the last one max fps uh, put this at max because by default it's 30 and you don't want 30 FPS when you play after that you want to go to the um, uh, The config file so right click on the game properties local file browse local file Binaries setting use the last one called take your graphics settings Edit with notepad plus plus and you will have all your setting here uh, really important what you need to change so first of all use HDR this one put this one at false anyway you probably don't have an HDR screen and I saw a huge increase uh, FPS when I put this one at fault so really important also enable tessellation I saw a nice increase on my Nvidia card when I put this at true but on, uh, on my AMD card I was losing FPS so this one you definitely need to test it uh, depending on your video card, you will see if it's working well or not. Uh, what else? What else? Texture, page size, okay, kilobyte. Make sure this one is 64, not 128. Really important. You will send nice increases over there. And the last one, the really important one, the number of thread. Uh, it's really weird. They're using 2 and 4. Uh, 2 for I, 4 and low. So I just reversed it and I got like a really nice result, honestly. Uh, the I tread, you want to uh, concentrate more tread on it. So I'm using 4 and 2 over there. Why 4 and 2? It's pretty random maybe for, for you guys. I will explain it to you. Me, I have an i7 4790K. So I have 8 tread. So I'm giving the game eight, 4 tread for the I1 and 2 for the low. And I'm keeping 2 tread for my drivers and windows. So if you have less tread than that, you should for sure lower this. Okay, Make sure that you will lower it. If you don't understand the concept, just put 0 on both. And it will say unlimited. I'm not using it because I don't like to give unlimited uh, tread on, my, on on the game. I, I want to lock it with four and two. But I saw a lot of people doing it on the, the net, and nobody had an issue with it. So if you don't understand the concept, please put zero. And also, you can uh, just write Intel with your, the name of your CPU on Google, and you will know um, 
how many threads that you have if you do an, a quick search. So that's about it, guys. If you have any question, just come in in the YouTube section, post me your rig, so CPU, GPU, and RAM, and I will try to help the best that I can. And don't forget to sub. Peace.